Hi, my name is Amita with HMSA Wellbeing Hawaii, and we're bringing you some stress relief with a relaxing beginner's yoga flow. So join us and enjoy. So we'll start in easy pose, Sukhasana. So just cross your legs, sit up nice and tall. So stack your shoulders over your hips. Good, opening up through your chest. Good, and start to close your eyes and start to focus in on your breath. So deep inhales all the way through the top of your lungs and slow controlled open mouth exhale. Three more just like that. Inhale, filling up all the way up and slowly exhale. Two more just like that. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Focusing in on your breath, good. And slow, controlled, open mouth, exhale. One more, just like that. Deep inhale. Good, and slow, controlled, open mouth, exhale. Now you can keep your eyes closed. Gently shrug your shoulders to your ears. On your inhale, and exhale, slowly roll them down your back. Good, really pulling your shoulder blades together in the back. Big inhale as you shrug your shoulders to your ears. And exhale, roll them down your back. Two more just like that. Deep inhale, bringing your shoulders all the way up. And exhale, feeling any tension melt away. Good, one more deep inhale. And slow, controlled, open mouth, exhale. Now slowly draw your arms over your head, stretching them up nice and high, good. On your inhale, on your exhale, gentle side bend over to the right. And hold, glance up at your elbow, make sure it's not coming forward. You wanna keep your chest nice and open, good. One more inhale here, and exhale, go a little deeper. Good, your next inhale, bring both arms back up, and exhale over towards the left. One more time on each side, Inhaling up and exhaling over to the right. One more big inhale up and exhale over to the left. Slowly back to center. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Take your right hand behind you around your tailbone. Take your left hand over your right knee. Inhaling, sitting up nice and tall and exhaling gentle twist. One more inhale as you sit up even taller. And exhale, twisting a little deeper, but no straining. Just a nice, easy, simple twist. Good, slowly back to center. We'll do the other side. Take your left hand behind you. Take your right hand over your left knee. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, twist. One more deep inhale as you sit up even taller. And exhale, twist a little deeper. Good, now slowly back to center. We're gonna move into a tabletop position. So you're gonna be on your knees. Make sure your shoulders stack over your wrists and your hips are stacked over your knees. Good. We're gonna move into cat cows. And so inhale, cow pose, gazing up, arching your back, really pulling your chest forward. Good. And on your exhale, round your back. Tuck your chin into your chest, pull your core into your spine. Good. One more, cow pose. And exhale into cat pose. Getting nice and loose in your spine. We're gonna move back into a child's pose and start to open up our shoulders. So you can, you have the option of taking a wide knee child pose or keeping your knees together. And slowly exhaling forward. So forehead to the ground, really pressing your fingertips into the mat and pushing back with your tailbone, good. One more deep inhale here. And exhale, and slowly moving into puppy dog pose. So puppy dog pose is very similar to child's pose except your hips are up. And then you're gonna slowly crawl forward, either your chin down or your forehead down, just depending on how you feel, how your shoulders feel today. You're getting a nice stretch in your shoulders. You're now slowly walking your way back up to a tabletop position tucking your toes under, and gently pushing back into a downward facing dog. 
So your downward facing dog, as you see, you have your tailbone to the sky. Your hips are, your feet are about hip width, hip width distance, and your hands are about shoulder width distance. Press into the mat. As you can see, you have different variations of downward facing dog. Wherever, whatever you're doing is fine. You can pedal out your feet, get nice and loose. Go ahead, get nice and loose in your legs. Get used to your downward dog. Good, now slowly bring your heels towards the mat. If they don't touch the mat, that's okay. You can keep your knees bent if you need. And now slowly start to walk your hands back. So you're gonna land in a forward fold. Good. So in this forward fold, grab opposite elbows. Shift forward to the balls of your feet. Really feel your spine start to lengthen here. Good, shift back and forth. Shake your head, shake your head out. Really let all the tension out of your neck. So let your head just hang. Good. We're gonna move into sunflower pose, shifting towards the right, leading with your elbows, getting into all the little areas of your spine, inhaling up, creating a big circle, drawing a big circle with your elbows, inhaling and exhaling over to the left. One more time, inhaling to the right and exhaling over to the left. Meeting back in center, we start to shift towards the left. Inhaling this time towards the left, good. Big circle and exhaling over to the right. And one big circle towards the left and exhaling back towards the right. Meeting back in your forward fold, take a bend, gentle bend to your left knee, left fingertips to the ground and inhale, simple twist up towards the right. Slowly roll out your elbows. Option here to take a half bind or stay just nice and open in your twist. We're really pulling your shoulder blades together. Good. One more inhale here. And exhale back to center, switching to the other side, taking a gentle bend to your right knee, right fingertip to the ground, and simple twist up towards the left. Rolling out your wrist, maybe taking the half bind. Good, just be really opening up your shoulders and slowly back down. One more inhale here and exhale, deeply bend. Now slowly bringing your feet back together, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna move into a simple warrior one position. So by doing this, you can just step forward with your right foot. Your left foot is about a 45 degree angle. And it's, you have the option of having your legs in a, one straight line, or you can have your left leg a little bit to the side like I do. 45 degree angle, now take a bend to your knees, square your hips. Good, now you have the option here of staying in this warrior one position, just working on it here, or you can bring your arms overhead, or maybe dropping back into a baby back bend. Good, inhaling back up, releasing, and then opening up to warrior two. So this time you're just shifting your feet. So your feet are parallel. Your back leg is parallel to the heel of your front foot. Your hips are squared, oh, your shoulders are squared over your hips. Good, and sinking down. Now it doesn't have to sink way down. So you can be really low or you can be working on it here. Gazing over your front middle finger. Good, inhale here and exhale. Turn your back foot into a wide leg forward fold. Good, inhale here. Take a little baby back bend here. Good, and exhale forward fold. Your prasarita, your wide leg forward fold. And so you can adjust this pose, adjust your feet, depending on how your hamstrings feel. So if your hamstrings are really tight, you might wanna widen your stance. If you're not feeling much of a stretch, you can shorten your stance. Good, and we're here for a few more breaths. Slowly take a bend to your knees as you slowly come up. 
Inhale as you open up your chest. Exhale, you simple twist. Left shoulder towards your right knee. And inhale to center. And exhale. Now inhaling slowly back up. We're going to move into a star pose. So heels in, toes out. Getting a nice big stretch here. Inhale here and exhale over to the other side. So warrior two to the other side. Good. So adjusting your stance so that your shoulders are over your hips. Good. And now gently turning your back foot so you're back in warrior one. And take your variation of warrior one. So either hands overhead to your hips or with the baby back bend. Good. Now dropping your hands back down, shifting back to a wide leg proserita position and taking your, your variation. So you have option, you can take a chest expansion, clasping your hands behind your back, or you could take an eagle arm, wrapping your wrists and your elbows. Good, one big inhale here. And exhale, forward fold. Now, if this doesn't feel good on your shoulders, you can keep your hands at your lower back and just pull your shoulder blades together. Or if that doesn't feel good, you can let your hands just rest. Good, one more inhale here. Exhale, eagle arms, switch your arms out. Good, one more inhale, exhale, drop your hands. Inhale, everyone will take a halfway lift together. And exhale, forward fold. We're gonna slowly move back into a seated position. So you're just gonna sit with your legs extended out in front of you. Inhaling your arms up nice and high. And exhaling. forward fold. So on every inhale, lengthen through your spine, pull your core in, and every exhale, go deeper. One more deep inhale, lengthen, and exhale, deepen. Now slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, and then lower one vertebrae at a time, so you might want to scoot forward on your mats a little bit. We're going to slowly lower until we're laying all the way down. Good. And now from here, you have a couple options, but we're going to start with drawing your right leg into your chest, but towards your shoulder. So into your right armpit. Deep inhale here. Exhale, pull it in a little bit more. One more inhale and exhale. You're going to twist towards the left, bringing your right knee towards the left, keeping your shoulder blades on the ground. Now you have an option here too of bending both legs and moving into your supine twist. One more inhale here and exhale back to center. Gently drop your right knee, your right leg straight. Pull your left knee into your left armpit. One more inhale here, exhale deepen. Inhale, prepare, and exhale, take your twist on the other side. So keeping your shoulder blades on the ground, gazing towards the left, maybe bending both knees if that feels better. Just enjoy this great lower back release. One more deep inhale. Exhale, back to center. Now gently take your hands behind your knees. Be careful for the rocks and gently roll your way up to a seated position. One more deep inhale, shoulders to ears, and exhale, roll them down your back. Good, inhale, draw your arms over your head, and exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, bring your thumb knuckles to your third eye center. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this little stress break. Stretch and stress break. Namaste.